For me, design thinking just encompassed ev like everybody's ideas of how to tackle a project but put it in an order, which is how us engineers like to look at things. So it was very great for us to just go with the, pro the process. Oh, the design thinking course is a structured program that teaches you how to think in a structured way so that you can incorporate other people's thoughts too. Because when you're given a problem, you're just thinking of a solution that would probably benefit you more. For us, we ended up throwing out insane ideas, like completely insane, and sometimes just laughing at it, uh, laughing at them because we just were like, what are we supposed to do? We're just having a good time with it. And then that's where the good idea came about. So the D-School's involvement um, within the engineering programs at UCT was really to look at bringing in more collaboration amongst students, um, as well as equipping them with these really important transferable skills such as complex problem solving, creativity, um, and introducing these into an engineering program and really helping students who are really good at problem solving um, gain skills around problem finding. The approach to design that's uh, adopted by the D School has its roots quite closely associated with the engineering design process. So there's quite a lot of synergy between the two. What the the, the design thinking process allows one to be able to adopt is a, a slightly more structured approach, although there is a significant amount of structure in the, in the more traditional engineering design approach. Um, one of the fantastic um, aspects of design thinking is that it's a cross-cutting um, mindset, a cross-cutting process that can be adopted by students. So really it has place within the entire university curricula. What it does do though is it quite explicitly introduces outside voices into the design process. So that's something which is often lacking in the traditional engineering design, is drawing on ideas and information and things and people and ideas from the outside world to inform and help you to develop solutions which are more focused and more targeted at the solving the problems of the people who you are trying to solve the problems for. So increasingly important in the world of work is learning to learn and design thinking equips students with the ability to continuously explore, to um, stay inquisitive um, and to build their skills around complex problem solving, creativity um, and resilience uh, and these are increasingly important. Grasping new concepts was challenging for us and it was just a different way of approaching a project than what we've already done. The positive things about design thinking was that we were writing down how we were thinking. It wasn't just oh come up with an idea, it was taking us how do you come up with an idea, what's the problem, okay what solutions do you have, when, how do you move forward, how are people feeling about the problem itself. So it was very good because we just wanted to build something but we had nothing so the, Design thinking helped us write something down to first see it on paper and to see if it actually works. 